Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving deep into the architecture of the 8086 microprocessor, a pioneering chip in the world of computing. We'll break down each component of its architecture and discuss how it works. Let's get started. The 8086 microprocessor, introduced by Intel in 1978, was a significant milestone in the evolution of microprocessors. It featured a 16-bit architecture and was the basis for many future developments in the x86 family. Now, let's explore its architecture in detail. The 8086 architecture is divided into two main sections, the bus interface unit, BIU, and the execution unit, EU. Each of these units has distinct roles and components that work together to execute instructions efficiently. First, let's look at the bus interface unit, BIU. The BIU handles all data and address transfers on the buses for the execution unit. It's responsible for fetching instructions, reading and writing data from, to memory and I.O. ports, and calculating addresses. The BIU includes several critical components. 1. Instruction queue. The BIU fetches instructions from memory and stores them in the instruction queue, a FIFO structure. This allows the CPU to be ready with the next instruction even before the current one is fully executed, enhancing performance. The instruction queue in the 8086 can hold up to 6 bytes of instructions, allowing for prefetching which improves execution efficiency. 2. Segment registers. The BIU uses segment registers, CS, DS, SS, S, to access different memory segments. Each segment register points to a specific memory segment, enabling efficient memory management and access. These segment registers help in addressing up to 1 megabyte of memory, divided into 64 kilobyte segments, making it easier to manage large programs. 3. Address generation circuit. This circuit calculates the physical address of memory locations by combining segment addresses with offset values. It ensures that the correct memory locations are accessed during read, write operations. The address generation circuit allows the 8086 to efficiently locate and access data stored in different segments of memory. 4. Bus control logic. This logic controls the data flow on the buses, ensuring proper communication between the microprocessor and external devices or memory. The bus control logic coordinates the data transfer between the CPU and memory or I.O. devices, managing signals and timings. Next, let's explore the execution unit, EU. The EU is responsible for decoding and executing instructions fetched by the BIU. It performs arithmetic and logic operations, controls the operation of the processor, and manages the flow of data. The EU consists of several key components. 1. A loop. Arithmetic and logic unit. The ALU performs all arithmetic and logic operations, such as addition, subtraction, and OR, and XOR. It is the core component for executing computational tasks. The ALU is the heart of the 8086, handling all the computations required by the instructions. 2. General Purpose Registers. The EU contains eight general purpose registers. AX, BX, CX, DX, SI, D, BP, SP, used for various operations. These registers store data temporarily during instruction execution. These registers facilitate data manipulation and storage, helping the CPU manage operations efficiently. 3. Flag register. The flag register contains status flags that reflect the outcomes of the LU operations. These flags are used for conditional branching and other control operations. The flag register provides critical information about the state of the processor, influencing decision-making during program execution. 4. Instruction Decoder This component decodes the fetched instructions and generates the necessary control signals for the execution unit to carry out the required operations. The instruction decoder translates machine code into actionable signals, directing the CPU on what tasks to perform. 5. Control Unit the control unit manages the operation of the execution unit by generating timing and control signals. It ensures the correct sequence of instruction execution and coordinates activities within the microprocessor. The control unit synchronizes all operations, ensuring that each part of the microprocessor works together seamlessly. Now, let's talk about pipelining in the 8086 microprocessor. Pipelining is a technique used to improve the throughput of the processor by allowing multiple instructions to be processed simultaneously at different stages of execution. In the 8086 microprocessor, pipelining is achieved through the separation of the bus interface unit, BIU, and the execution unit, 
EU. While the BIU fetches instructions and places them in the instruction queue, the EU decodes and executes these instructions. This overlap of fetching and executing instructions allows for a more efficient use of the processor's resources. The advantages of pipelining in the 8086 include increased throughput. By overlapping instruction fetch and execution, the 8086 can execute more instructions in a given period, improving overall performance. Better resource utilization. Pipelining ensures that different parts of the microprocessor are working simultaneously, reducing idle times and making efficient use of resources. Reduced instruction cycle time. The time taken to complete an instruction cycle is minimized as the next instruction is being fetched while the current one is being executed. In conclusion, the 8086 microprocessor's architecture, with its distinct bus interface unit and execution unit, allows for efficient instruction execution and data handling. Pipelining further enhances its performance by enabling simultaneous fetching and execution of instructions. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech insights. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, leave a comment below. Stay tuned for our next videos, where we'll explore more fascinating aspects of microprocessors and other cutting-edge technologies. Until next time, keep exploring the amazing world of technology.